Hello, I'm Antia Peter, reporting this week's news highlights by the Daily Express. A former Abu Sayyaf hostage is forced to return to sea to earn a living after a futile attempt at running a food stall which he had set up in Taman Ria, Tawau, Sabah. Tayudin Anjud was one of the five Malaysians abducted by Abu Sayyaf militants from their tugboat in 2016 and held hostage for eight months. His meager income is now forcing him to rethink his options and is tempted to return to sea once again for the sake of his family. The Sabah Association of Tour and Travel Agents is looking forward to the government's efforts to boost the state's tourism industry. Foreign Affairs Minister Datuk Saifuddin Abdullah stated recently that Putrajaya plans to relax the entry requirements for Chinese tourists visiting the country in time for Visit Malaysia 2020. Chairman of SATT, Datuk Seri Winston Liao, said the move would further increase the number of tourist arrivals from China and in turn boost the industry. PKR Penampang Youth proposed that members of the public who purchase alcohol during the state Kamatan festival at Hongkod Khoisan Ground must be required to show proof of age to prevent underage drinking. Its deputy chief, Remista Taylor, said there has to be some form of control to ensure no juvenile is allowed to buy alcohol at the festival ground. He stated that it is more important that the Kamatan festival is seen as a meaningful event where we celebrate our culture and tradition rather than a drinking fiesta. The bubble tea trend is still on the rise with the continuous launch of new outlets and brands, but one girl's experience shows that bubble tea should be taken in moderation. A 14-year-old girl in China was recently admitted to the emergency ward after complaining of stomach pains and difficulty with digestion. After undergoing a CT scan of her abdomen, doctors found that her stomach, intestines, and anus were lined with undigested bubble tea pearls. The doctors speculated that it could not have been accumulated in only one day, meaning it was likely the girl lied to conceal her bubble tea habits from her parents and had consumed the beverage on a very regular basis. That's all for this week's news highlights. I'm Antia Peter. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more news from the Daily Express.